considering taking matters into your own hands and homeschooling your children, you may want to first check out how homeschooling negatively affects you, the parent doing the teaching. There are some mental health impacts you need to know about. So we have Dr. Connor Hogan is the world's leading high performance social psychologist and he's joining us now all the way live from Ireland. Dr. Connor, thanks for hanging with us again today. Hey, you got to explain the distress that parents have been under during the pandemic when homeschooling. Yeah, I mean, it really, it has to be acknowledged. We got to think like, the Christmas season, for example, a hangover, things just don't happen that extreme and then suddenly things go back to normal. So relationships could have been fractured with young people or children. And so we really need to socialize, socialize, socialize. And I say that in three ways or three times, simply because when we look at real estate and we think of location, 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 mm. we get one thing from this little piece here. It's socialize, socialize, socialize. So what can young people who are being homeschooled do to make it easier on their parents? Well, so the time that they've spent in the pandemic has been really extreme and they've been forced, enforced really, to spend a lot of time alone. And so use the skills you've learned in order to kind of develop yourself with regard to any problems that come up in the household in the future. So, for example, one of the things before the pandemic came along, one of the big criticisms of young people, and not just teenagers, but young people in their 20s, Generation X and so on, and Z and all these ABCs and so on, was that they didn't have enough resilience. They didn't have the same kind of cutting edge that previous generations had. So now that they've been forced, enforced to spend so much time alone or away from people and their peers, you use that resilience to build and make it a building block for years to come. I always wondered whenever I had friends who were being homeschooled, you know, how they would adjust to adult life in years to come. Have you seen anything, you know, talking about that? Well, there really isn't anything as such with regard to the pandemic because it's very, very early with regard to that. But what is definitely true is, just like I said before, the skills that you've been enforced to learn or to kind of um, just wear yourself thin on throughout months and months and several lockdowns. And one of those is, of course, being independent, just spending time completely alone. And again, that's another thing that previous researchers said prior to the pandemic, where we don't have enough independent and uh, independent thinking to make us innovative, to make us problem solvers, to make us also just young adults that have extreme responsibility in life. It sounds like there might be an opportunity here for people who want to coach children on this type of thing. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, coaching is such a huge profession out there. And if we are a coach and if we look at things, we, the main problem essentially is that young people going into adulthood now have missed out on this huge social vacuum, really, that's been in their lives. And so we have to kind of make that as a central kind of cog with regard to every other skill that we're developing them with. So again, socialization, socialization, socialization. Mm, well, you know what? You're giving us so many great things to think about. And I have had more friends who have been more pro um, get my kids, you know, into homeschooling. And some that are like, please, Lord, take my kids back to school. I need a break. So I'm sure that parents are really appreciative to understand that they're not alone. So, you know what? Viewers can actually learn more about Dr. Hogan's work by checking out his book, The Gym Upstairs, The Neuroscientific Secrets of Future Champions, which is always amazing. Dr. Connor, thank you so much for staying up with us and, and chatting with us. I know it's pretty late in Ireland. My pleasure, guys. Thank you.